Hello YouTubers, this is Pat with Pettis Advanced Training Solutions. Today we're going over our second video in our series of videos with Master John Maynard of Champion Martial Arts in Wilmington, North Carolina. Today's video will concentrate on Mr. Maynard's very unique perspective when it comes to firearms handling, shooting, as well as his sighting system called On Point Sights. All of the content that I will share with you today, I will leave a link in the description box below. Also, do me and Pettis Advanced Training Solutions a favor and smash that like button and subscribe button so that you can constantly get content that we push out to you guys. So, without further ado, here's Mr. John Maynard of Wilmington, North Carolina. The gun program along with everything else you do? Yes. Can you explain a little bit to me about that and as well as the sighting system? Yes. That you've developed? Okay, so this is where the Salem Witch Trials are going to start, okay? <laughs> yes, so I do not believe in an isosceles stance. Yes, I don't like it because especially with armor on, you can't punch out with it. You have to rotate and work. You cannot move forward in an isosceles stance. If you do, the lever is too far away from the center, which gives you center axis lever and rotation movement and sight picture alignment movement. Yes. So obviously, if, if you can't tell, I'm dyslexic. I have attention deficit disorder. And so, my father knew this at a very young age, and he never taught me to use sights because I couldn't. And if I try to sight in with one eye, both eyes, your strong eye, your dominant eye, whatever people want to call it, your strong eye is the one you can use. Yes. If I look right, my right eye is my, if I look left, my left, if I look yes, forward, I'm not making a decision, my brain is. Yes. We see with this, this tells this what to do. And that's what people don't understand. Think about camouflage, okay? You're looking at someone with camouflage on and you're looking right at them, but until this recognizes it, you can't see it. Sure. So what we have to do is understand and get our brain to work. So this is where I may get in just a little bit of an issue with people, but the canted position, which I teach everything from the canted position until I don't. And when I don't, I teach it from the push straight out position until I slide the other way. Now you go to left handed. Can anyone explain to me why when we shoot right handed single we do a canted position? Okay and then we go to a master grip and we change everything to go back to here. Well this is your strongest stance. Well if you believe that let's put boxing gloves on. You stand like this and I'll stand like this, and we'll see how quickly you adapt and go, I don't like this. Yes. Your most aggressive position with a firearm in your hand, period, end of list. Is it okay if I grab that firearm? Yes, sir. All right. Please do. Yes. So as you can see, guys, we're clear here. I'm going to do a safety shot. So what Al and I are talking about now is everything we do the same way. We shoot a pistol, rifle, shotgun exactly the same way. So I don't really understand this, especially with armor on, but this is my fighting stance. So I've been doing this my whole life. I don't understand why we just don't put the gun right here. I, I don't understand it, okay? I can control the gun better. I've got sight picture, sight alignment. Well, the gun won't shoot correctly because it's sideways. Well, you keep believing that. But if you look at bad guy statistics and you look at that, they hit us a lot more than we hit them. So, learn from it. Stop fighting it. This is a natural pointing position. No one points this way. Everyone points that way. Everybody does it. So, that is your natural point of aim. That's your center. So, now you've got a police officer that the gun comes up. They're in an isosceles stance. Now, they have to go to a fine motor skill as opposed to a gross motor skill. Just point the gun and shoot it. I never used sights until about 10 years ago, and that's when I developed this, which is called the on-point sight. So everything's on the front of the gun. 
everybody talks about the front of the gun, 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 and then they say, line up your rear sight. Look, statistically, law enforcement, we're, we're right here. This happens right here. This is it. Okay, first and second shot, long ways apart. But if we could get used to just being in your normal stance and putting the gun in your center, you're already in line. You're not in line here. This is a fine motor skill. This is a gross motor skill. Now, when I add to the master grip, again, this is a problem that most people have. They don't understand how to put their hands on the gun. If you just mess this up a little bit and you punch out, you've got that. I preach one-handed shooting all the time because it's going to happen right here. You've got less mistakes to make, especially if you go left-handed and try to go master grip, you end up with something like this. Don't waste your time with putting the other hand on the gun. If you've got to go to this hand, things have gone to hell in a handbasket anyway. So look at the target, add the gun. It's that simple. So again, if you look at this, this is called the runway sight. And how I developed this was fatal funnel. So everybody knows, law enforcement, whatever, don't stand in a doorway because you're in the fatal funnel. You're framed. And all this does is frame the target. So if you use left sight, right sight, above or below, at least you're close to the target. Now, I know everybody shoots bullseyes, but in case you don't, you may want to think about using that sight. People put bigger sights on the front of their gun. If you're driving down the road and you put a 12-inch pizza plate in front of you and you're trying to drive down the road, it blinds you. But if you put that little pizza plate there and that little pizza plate there, you can keep things in line. Think about driving down the road. I just got to keep it between the ditches. That's all I got to do. Mm -hmm. So if you think about that, if we could keep all of our gun sh shots in that. Now, again, I know everybody shoots in the same spot every time. So it's going to help make you more accurate, safer, less rounds fired. Everybody, right-handers miss low left. Left-handers miss low right. That's because of this the pull, but because I shoot everything like a rifle. I'm shooting a rifle right now. I'm not shooting a pistol. Everything stays right here. If you watch video of law enforcement officers or people that enter a building, no one enters like that. Their instincts take over, and they now have become a fighter. So everything we do, we do the same way. Hands up, everything goes right here. Look at the target, put your gun right here, do what you've got to do. You're more likely to be able to defend yourself. Low ready position, I'm not a fan of. I don't really care for this that much because it can get crushed against you. I would much rather have the gun to me here because I can fight people off of me. Right or wrong, this is what I do. You can do what you want to do. I do not like this. Most people that get shot by someone else are shot in their lower extremities because of this. Yes. So we want to try to make everyone safer. Uh, again, if you carry around a chamber, you don't carry around a chamber. I don't. Up to you if you do. I do draw, cock, and shoot. I've trained with the Israelis for years. It's entirely up to you what you do. But I can tell you this. If I do that, it's go time. Something has to happen, dramatically change, for me not to do something else. Yes. So safety factor for me, mindset for me, when I do that, it's time to start getting work done. And I understand law enforcement can't do that. I understand it. If you carry around in a chamber, strong side holster, period, strong side holster. Keep your finger off the trigger. The gun will not go off unless something depresses that trigger. If you've got a soft holster, you put it in your purse, you put it whatever, it hits that trigger, horrible things happen, and we've all heard of it happen. Thank you, Mr. Maynard, for taking the time to spend with me to 
help our audience understand your very insightful and intuitive shooting system. As always, you're always a pleasure to talk with and interview. Thank you very much, Mr. Maynard, and we will see you in future videos. Don't forget, guys, smash the subscribe and like button, and we'll see you very soon.